Super Productions. Super. All right, so Cinco de Mayo, yeah. This weekend, Canelo takes on John Ryder in Guadalajara, yeah. Yeah, let's let's just see what happens. But you know what? I hope, I really hope, and I'm, yeah, hope John Ryder knocks out Canelo. Is a big ask what what I'm asking for. But I hope it happens. And let's be real, if even if. John Ryder knocks out Canelo, they might disqualify him for doing that because you know, like we 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 know we know how the judges over there in America in America are in Vegas. Like all you gotta do is look at look at Canelo's track record. Should have lost to Lara, should have lost to Golovkin, the first fight. Uh and he only lost to Bibbo by a round, if I can remember. So yeah, let's let's hope um John Ryder does the business. It's not only that, I just feel like, like all credit to Canelo. Um, it's gonna, like I said, it's gonna be a good fight. I know a lot of people are, are criticizing Canelo for this fight, but I'm one of the guys that are not criticizing him. He's out there taking on his mandatories. How can you blame him? So, but I, just the whole, the Canelo machine, you know, like the manufactured, like putting him in this position where yes he has done bits he has done bits but he has not done it all so yeah i just and it's not even that it's just more it's more for the mauricio solomon and these yeah these wbc scumbags yeah i just want to i just want to see more egg on their face rather than there's a personal dislike for canelo like don't get twisted i feel like canelo is overhyped i feel like canelo is overrated i feel like canelo like Canelo is a great boxer and is a guy who I enjoy to watch, but I do believe, um, yeah, I do believe he's just an overrated. He's overrated overall. Like, and he's a guy who should have a couple of losses on his resume: the first Golovkin fight, like I said, and the Lara fight. And some people might say even the Chow. Yeah, even some people say even the second Golovkin fight. If we're talking on a boxing perspective, I would actually favour Golovkin in that fight. But hey, it's what it is. As far as um, yeah, John Ryder. It is a big ass what I'm asking for. Uh, can he do it? Look, nothing's ever impossible. Yeah, but this is a big ask. You know, being Guadalajara, like you know, you can't go the distance with this guy because you automatically you've lost. Yeah, you could you could beat this you could beat Canelo from pillar to post. It does not matter. You're not beating this guy in Guadalajara in Mexico. Is this not happening? So, yeah, you have to go for the knockout. You have to go for the knockout. And I'm not the guy that's going to say for John Ryder because he's not that kind of guy to go in there reckless and all that kind of stuff there. I do believe that, um, but I do believe he, Ryder, would need to make this a physical fight because there's still a lot of things with Canelo. We know, um, we know, we know for years he has stamina issues, yeah? So hopefully, during the later rounds or whatever, Ryder could just, yeah, get to work and just, you know, like. But like I said, once again, there's a big ask I'm asking for. Like, if you're going to tell me right now, who am I going to, who, what am I going for? I'm going for Canelo on points. <laughs> regardless, <laughs> regardless, mate, even if John Ryder outboxes him or, you know, like, batters him from pillar to post if it's going 12 points i'm going canelo on points no matter what so yeah um yeah i think yeah like it's a big ask it's not impossible if he does it shut the mexican fans up yeah that place will turn upside down yeah like let's 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 hope it can happen but yeah like as far as oh i'm gonna I'll do this in this video actually. Um, we have to actually come to terms, everyone, right now, and say that look, Canelo, Saul Canelo Alvarez is still the face of boxing. To find out that he's the fifth richest athlete, yeah, only behind I think it's LeBron James, uh, a guy um, Mbappe, I believe, Ronaldo, and Messi. 
if I can, yeah, I believe it's that. And then, like, it's LeBron James and then Canelo. So, listen, guys, face of boxing, Canelo is still the guy. And I don't think anyone touches him for a couple of years. Yeah, on tour, we see, I start seeing him, you know, regressing. So, yeah, like, I, oh, yeah, another thing as well. It, well it's going to be an entertaining fight regardless because John Ryder is not... He's not a back foot boxer. He's a guy that will come out, will come out to fight. He will try and make it physical. He does come in there a bit straight, straight in a straight line, which could leave Canelo open to giving him those uppercuts. So yeah, it's a good fight though. Um, I do believe it'd be an entertaining fight. It's not going to be a pushover job. John Ryder will give it his all. That's one thing you can you can guarantee with John Ryder. He will give it his all. So yeah, but I hope you I hope you knock him up though. So yeah. Let's, let's go, let's go Ryder. Yeah, not even that like obviously a couple of people I know who's close to him. Shout out to Dylan. And yeah, like the guy that comes across like he conducts himself really well, John Ryder. Like he's not a flashy guy, he's just a calm, calm guy, just doing these bits, you know. He's had quite a few losses over his time, but yeah, let's just hope it, it all boils down to one, to this night. And let's be real, he also should have been a world champion when he fought Callum Smith, because say what you want, Callum Smith lost that fight, and that's a fact. Anyway, that's it, that's for me. Let's go hope, I, like, go for Canelo win on points, but I hope John Ryder knocks out Canelo. Nothing personal, Canelo. Anyway, it's a lot to I'm out. Stay blessed.